keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you I want you coming back I remember when we were staring at photo Don't forget the way I can poke the screwdriver all the way through So we're actually sitting in our brand new bedroom in the motorhome. Something that we did not think was possible just a couple of weeks ago. or a massive water damage the carpet is wet really really wet so we're gonna see if we can identify identify where the leak is coming from so we'll see where we end up so we managed to remove the bed and now it's time to remove the carpet but we can see that this is an old water damage. Well, this obviously didn't happen the past two weeks. So this is all rotten. Needs to be replaced. So this is the work so far, we're still uh, trying to figure out how big the damage is, see if we're going to remove this cabinet, uh, get that out of the way so we can access the floor, because I think it's sort of in here as well. So I think the floor needs to be replaced in here. And then obviously the shower needs to come out, so behind this wall is the shower. And we got rotten wood there, so we got the shower here. So all this needs to come out one way or another. So we got plenty of work just to to see what damage we're dealing with, see if this is even possible for us to fix. Well, we keep on fighting. So after lunch, we're gonna figure out how far this goes. But it doesn't look good, I have to admit that. Oh, 
So far, we've removed the shower. Here is where the shower used to be. Uh, and I'm hoping we see, we'll see the end of this water damage. This, this is all rotten, but here we've got fresh wood. to be replaced and we need to take the slide out tightly more water damage months until this project hopefully is done uh, and that even or that also gives me the chance to go all over all the seals on the roof and uh, on the sides and obviously I need to replace the slide out seal uh, and I think I'm gonna do that on both the slides just in case that's the um, the big slide out in the um, living area the seal around that one actually looks quite good and I can't see any damage around that slide out so I'm hoping that actually is fine but when I'm ordering uh, new slide out seals I might even well I might replace that anyway just in case because we're gonna travel with kids uh, just feeling I don't want to have any possible or a possibility of mold getting in here so and uh, yeah this is tough for me and for us until they home alone with um, with money our son and uh, while I'm here I'll just work it day in and day out she's only got three weeks left on her pregnancy so hopefully oh, within three weeks we have another family member so we were hoping we're hoping to get uh, we're hoping to get um, most of the work done before that after we um, get our baby it's gonna be few sleepless nights for both of us and um, this project is going to be on hold. Uh, Mid-September now, um, Matilda is due uh, early October and we're not planning on leaving until February. Uh, so that gives us a few months uh, with the baby. This uh, workshop we can actually store the whole RV inside and it's it got he is get Miller it's heated at his uh, concrete floor and uh, got a lot of uh, space to, to to work in and around the RV so that is gonna be great just before we noticed the um, uh, 
the water uh, in the bedroom I actually took down the exhaust or the um, the end muffler I did know about that when we bought the ROV that it needed to be replaced um, so I, I took that down and was planning during the week to sort out the parts uh, for that uh, obviously this project took over and this is pretty much the only thing I've been working on now but I have managed to order the parts so hopefully I'm getting that the, the muffler and the few bits and pieces I need for the exhaust pipe uh, on Wednesday Thursday this week and that gives me time to fit it uh, and hopefully by Saturday I'm gonna be able to manage to move the RV into the new workshop and start yeah getting everything back to normal I uh, I have get got my hopes up so hopefully I don't um, have to remove the slide out um, the water damage is in the floor so uh, and I've managed to expose all the um, aluminum uh, around the slide out so I actually think it will be fine if I just replace the uh, all the rotten wood and leave the slide out in. Yeah. I give you, I can give you a tour and see the work so far. So I'll cover this up. This is just for the dehumidifier to be able to work in an enclosed space overnight. So I actually remove the. It's you can see straight out the RV in the side here. So. Um, I get still uh, got some rotten wood here to remove. This is actually metal, so that's fine. I removed all the um, damaged part here, and this all needs to also come out. Uh, need to put some new uh, new wood in there. Yeah, uh, under underneath this, uh, it's the rear tires. So through this hole, don't know this is done by the factory I guess. Um, it was just covered with foam sealant. And then all this, this is just this is steel, a steel beam, uh, and this is part of the frame. So I've removed all the damaged wood here. Still got this to remove <coughs> around there, and uh, obviously need to clean it. Clean all this up, and uh, yeah, do something about the wall here, and then yeah, start rebuilding, putting new isolation in and uh, new floor. Hopefully, uh, we get this sorted out eventually, and uh, still be able to go on our planned trip next year. This it's gonna put us back though uh, economically uh, I can't work as much as planned uh, in my day job uh, need to put in a lot of time here obviously and it's uh, it's obviously gonna cost a lot in materials uh, most of it is the time it's quite kind of time consuming this is t day two but I've worked for like 12 hours a day maybe up to 7 7 in the morning and it's now half past 10 in the evening it's just been quite a day and I still got a fair amount of work I have to uh, do tomorrow to clean up the rest of this and uh, yeah stay tuned be back tomorrow so when we first found out about the water damage um, and Henry called me uh, saying that we might have some problem, uh, I was 37 weeks pregnant, so I was three weeks away from due date, um, which made 
everything a little bit more emotional on my part and on Henrik's part as well because we were quite stressed um, we really didn't know if we were gonna start doing the renovations before the baby uh, or after the baby and we knew that after the baby it'd be probably not have been a good idea no exactly because um, we would we had a brand new baby um, and they they demand a lot of care and a lot of love and you want you want to spend time with them um so henry called me on a sunday morning i think he and mana had been off in marie fred working on the van that whole weekend and i was home resting i was quite tired at the time quite tired and quite heavy um he gave me a call saying that they uh, they basically ripped the whole bedroom apart um and I think I cried for that whole day. I was just so upset and I just, because I'd been home with the man, our son, uh, prepping him for pre preschool and just basically handled our whole house and, and everything uh, and being pregnant as well. It was, it was quite exhausting and I was quite hormonal <laughs> and I was just really, really tired. And at the same time, I was sort of prepping in my mind to give birth which is also draining and exhausting um so i was just horrified when he called i was i was so so sad and i just saw our dream disappearing because uh, i just i just couldn't figure out how we were going to fix it no. um but then uh then we decided that we were going to go. Um, I mean, we we did take a chance because the baby, when, yeah, you, could have. when you're 37 weeks, you could give birth anytime, really. Uh, the baby's done. Uh, but we decided that if we were going to have any chance to actually finish this project and actually be on our way at the beginning of, of 2020, we needed to do we needed to do the renovation right then. Yeah. So Henrik... Um, Left took time of work. Took time of work for a couple of weeks. Um, he basically lived in the van. Uh, he was here from like seven in the morning to midnight for about two weeks time, just working his ass off, to be honest. And I mean, in all of this, we also had the best support we could ever have asked for from Henrik's yeah. mom. She and her yeah. husband, they were here pretty much pretty much every day. Henrik's mom was helping him ripping yeah, everything. Yeah, was... um, her husband drove all the trash to the junkyard and they just, I, yeah. I'm, I'm really, really uh, grateful for them because they, they supported us in a way that yeah. we- Throughout they, the whole project. Throughout the whole project. Um, and we were, we were lucky that we had them and we're really lucky that we have Henrik who's really like technical and he knows how to figure things out. He's really handy. Um, so uh, although he worked like 24 seven for uh, two weeks, two yeah. weeks, um, he actually, he, yeah, he, we did, we did, yeah. he did all this and I'm, I'm really amazed. And um, I, I didn't even spend time here when everything was ripped apart because I didn't really want to travel and I um, I wanted to be close to the hospital and stuff um, in case anything could happen and we also yeah. figured out that if if I were to call Henrik he would be able to be at our front door with within two hours two yeah. hours so yeah. um, but it was it was lucky though that you weren't away because this birth was really quick yeah. uh, so but he finished and and then in the end i i went over two weeks uh on my pregnancy so it was all you know looking back we yeah we had plenty of time we but. had plenty <laughs> of time but we didn't know at the time um and i'm just really amazed that we're actually sitting here and that they just mm. nailed the whole renovation mm. 